There will be a lot of fiddling around this week in St. John's, dancing and singing too. That's because St. John's is hosting the North Atlantic Fiddle Convention, the world's largest gathering of fiddlers, fans and folklorists. Joining me this morning from beautiful Kitty Vitty, Newfoundland, is Prince Edward Island fiddler Ward McDonald. And Mo Ward McDonald, what, what does it mean to you to be holding an exciting event like this in St. John's? Well, participating in an event like this is, uh, is it's a really special occasion for me. It's a pleasure to be over here in Newfoundland representing PEI. There's players from all over the world here at the conference, and uh, you know I get to come over and share a few tunes and meet some people and have, a, have an all-around good time, I guess. What do you think it means for Canadian fiddling overall that St. John's would get chosen and that your part of the country has such a beautiful and rich tradition when it comes to fiddle music? Well, I think it's a, it's a great thing for Canadian fiddling. I'm really pleased to see the NAFCO event here in North America. And the next two events, the event happens every two years, and the next two events are scheduled for the other side of the Atlantic again. And I hope it comes back to Canada for the uh, 2014 convention. How would you describe the state of fiddling in, in Canada right now? Would you say that it's healthy and growing? I would definitely say it's healthy and growing, yeah. Uh, in, in PEI, for instance, about 30 years ago, the Fiddler Society formed because fiddling was on the decline, um, because it was new influences coming in, and uh, like country music and dance halls and uh, electrification in the 1950s changed things in PEI a lot. But uh, over the last 30 years, fiddling's been growing and everything is uh, alive and well there. And why do you think that is? I mean, you've got so much competition. I mean, my gosh, young people can turn on the radio today and listen to just, just about any kind of music imaginable, music that wasn't, wasn't imaginable 30 years ago. So what do you, how, why do you think it is that, that it's growing and it's so popular? I think more than anything, it's fun. It's fun, and in PEI, people dance to the fiddle, so everyone can participate. Whether you can play a note or sing a note, you can still participate with the fiddle. And it's something that people of all ages do, whether you're 8 years old or 80 years old. And it's a very inclusive activity. You know, there's, there's generally no egos, and there's no, uh, no competitions. And it's just something that, it's a way that people can express themselves. And the fiddle seems to be a very good voice for expressing, uh, you know, human emotion. And uh, people just generally enjoy it. Is it also, I'm just thinking aloud here, but the authenticity of it, you know, when you think about a lot of music today, you go to a concert, 90% of it's probably lip synced, uh, voices are modified <laughs> beyond recognition, so it might as well be a robot singing, but with the fiddle, there's no faking, right? That's right, there's no faking. Even when you wish there was, there isn't. <laughs> but uh, with the fiddle, generally speaking, you know, whatever you would go to, whatever you would hear when you go to your neighbors and hear tunes is what you're going to hear on stage at a concert or a dance. And I think people like that. They like knowing that they're hearing the music of their neighbor. And uh, the fiddle is mostly played unobstructed. You know, you're played with a, you play with a piano player or a guitar player or some other strings or something. But, uh, you know, we leave the techno beats out for the most part and, and all of that other un unimaginable stuff, Andrew. <laughs> and what performers and speakers are you looking forward to hearing from most? Well, I actually, uh, I actually heard a very great keynote speech from uh, Dr. Alan Jabour on Sunday night. Alan opened the, co the convention with, uh, with the keynote address and uh, he was fantastic. He ran through his, uh, basically his experience fiddling in the, in the south of the United States and uh, he was humorous and insightful and very inspiring. So I enjoyed Alan's talk. And uh, there's about uh, 30 or 40 events this week that I wish I could make, you know, be able to get to all of them. But uh, there's probably too many to go through here. <laughs> well, Ward, we wish you the best of luck uh, in meeting all these people, hearing some of this beautiful music. But just to kind of tease us to break, to kind of wake people up nicely in the morning, would you mind giving us a little bit of taste of your fiddle music? Absolutely, I'll play you too, and I'm going to get my friend Rick Barron to join me on guitar here. Rick's a great Newfoundlander right here in St. John's. What's up, Rick? Here we go, it's a tune called Father Charlie Chivarese. <laughs> 